Hey guys, in this video we're going to be building the Venom House that you saw in the thumbnail. So, blocks you're going to need, it's actually a lot because of the interior, but start off with black concrete and black wool. And then we're going to need white concrete. We're also going to need snow. We're going to need magenta terracotta. And then that's basically it for the outside, but we're also going to need for like all the inside stuff a netherite sword, which is, you know, of course for decoration and such. Uh furnace. I'm going to need a glow item frame a bed you can really use any bed but I'm gonna use like a gray bed you're going to need a door I'm gonna use dark oak doors you could use like any door spruce door that would also look good um, you can also use any type of leaves but I'm just gonna use these flowered ones because they're new I'm also gonna need stone slabs also gonna need white wool for quartz we're gonna need the pillars the smooth slabs and the smooth stairs you can also just go into these different sections on them keep typing it uh, regular chest crafting bench an anvil and if you're making this in survival feel free to decorate it however you want to I'm just gonna do it how I did in my uh, other world we're gonna need a wither rose also gonna need a head which in survival I don't know how you get this. I know you can get one of these from getting a charge creeper to blow up uh, another mob so that could be possible but also gonna need a cauldron tinted glass um, these polished diorite slabs and then sea lanterns. Also gonna need a ladder. A uh, ladder. Uh, there we go. Apparently I can't spell ladder. Um, and then a torch. So that should be about it. If I need to use anything else, I'll probably just get it during the video. But anyways. To get started, I forgot. Well, actually, no. You can just use these. Um, to get started, you're going to build the base of the house. So, I'm going to take the black concrete and do eight blocks going left to right. So, starting from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to build up until this is 10 blocks high so including this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right that's the chest piece done and then down here I'm going to place two concrete blocks there and then I'm going to take the doors, whichever door, place them on this side so that it's kind of sitting in. Then I'm going to take the white concrete and start making the outline. It's going to be six blocks right above that, except leave a space. 
I'm going to go to the left two and to the right two like that. Diagonal down. We're going to go up two and diagonally up two like that. So that is the chest. And then for the arms, I'm going to start at this corner, place a block. And then come out 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And go to the left 3. And then bring it all the way back. And I'm going to bring it back 4 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. I'm going to build this way and then on the back side I'm going to extend his back so instead of building it right here like that I'm going to come back one more just for like spatial reasons or whatever and on this side we're going to do the same thing so 10 along this and then come back 3 this way and go all the way back I'm going to make this 4 high, so this is 2, 3, 4, like that. And actually, this might be too long. I'm going to make this 2 blocks shorter. Yeah. Same thing on this side, make it four tall. Make come um, back like that. And then I'm just gonna fill all this in with the black concrete. Fill in the hands. And then I'll fill in the shoulders in a second. Alright, and then for the shoulders, it's basically just coming up to meet the chest, or I guess like the top of the neck. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And then for the back, it's kind of like a big spider pattern. So I'm going to take the white concrete, hit these two blocks out at the bottom, place two blocks there, four on top of that. And then I'll take the black concrete, do a block on either side of that, and white on either side of that, so she has something like that. And then starting from the top of this black block, make a row, go into the next one. I switch to the black concrete and do diagonal on either side. Like that. And then kind of do the same thing. So I'm going to take the white concrete and go in the middle like that. And do another diagonal. And then fill that in. I'm going to 
gonna do four blocks going up like that and then do two diagonal coming out skip a block and go down two and then make these come out either side same thing underneath this one and then just fill the rest in with black and that was kind of difficult just uh, wait till all the uh, black is filled in they can check so you should have something like that and then for the head I'm gonna kind of do it like I do with the regular statues so come out to from the head and then make a row of eight in total length connect it back to the head and fill that bottom bit in and I'm gonna do a row underneath this and then I'm going to take the magenta hit out block here block here and then I'm gonna do one above it so we're just making the tongue now make a square here come come down to here and then to the left I'm gonna make a square like that. Come out one and then come up diagonally with it like that. And then since this is coming out, I'm just gonna fill in the underside of it like that. Also gonna put black concrete here and then same place on the other side. Like that. You're gonna take the smooth quartz, place the block on either side of the tongue. And then we're gonna come up with the black concrete two. And then come over with it. And then come up two on the other side. And then we're gonna take the stairs and place them upside down in this corner. And then we're going to place upside down right here. We're going to do another. Actually, no. Do quartz. And then same pattern, upside down. Right there. And then another quartz. So it goes stair, stair, slab stairs stairs slab and then we're gonna take the tinted glass and put it behind it like that and then for the eyes we're just gonna do snow three blocks coming towards the center on either side two up like that and take the black concrete and fill this in and I'm gonna do a line on top of that and I'm also gonna do one more so this is kind of like a, a bigger head than the normal statues but it's you know not a normal statue I'm also going to delete these two blocks just to make it kind of look like his chin's coming in. Yeah, I'll delete that one as well. There you go. And then I'll just come back with it. I'm going to come one behind his uh, back. Like 
that. And I'm just going to fill all this in with the uh, black concrete. Except for the eyes. I'm actually going to fill in these two blocks with the snow. The same thing on this side. But the rest of it I'll just fill in with black. So that's what it should be looking like right now. And this is basically the outside all of it done. But you can also do what I'm about to do and take these stone slabs and make a kind of, uh, what would you call it, like an entrance. So I'm going to delete this whole row in front of his arms like that. And do a line with the slabs like that. I'm going to come into with that. And then come in three. Like that. Now on the inside, I'm just going to get the corners. Actually, I'm going to make a line going across the entire inside of this, and then hit the corner. You could also use like anazite slab or any kind of other, you know, blackstone slab. Anything like that will work. Alright, and then for the inside... For the inside, I am going to replace a floor with black wool on this level. And then now for the corners over here, I'm going to take the sea lantern and the flowers. I'm also going to need the diorite slab, these stairs, and cauldron. I'm also going to need this pillar. So I'm going to do this on both sides. I'm going to do sea lantern in the corner and then cauldron. And two leaves right here. I'm gonna do two slabs right there. And then take the pillar quartz block. Go up until you reach the top of this. So I'm gonna need this slab. I'm gonna take it and come back until you get to this corner. I think I take the stairs, place it upside down. Take the door, which you don't have to put a door here. I'm just gonna put a door because you can make this a room. Uh, and now I'm gonna take the sea lanterns, put them right there. You could also put tinted glass right there. And then take a bed, put it like that. 
A flower pot. I need a flower pot. That's it. Um, and then in the corner, flower pot there. And I'll put a, a wither rose because it's, you know, black matches the theme. Even though this is purple. Whatever. And I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. So, I need sea lantern. Cauldron. Flowers. And then... Pillar. Going up right here. Smooth slabs going across the top. Not like that. Like that. There we go. And then upside downstairs right there. Door right here. Sea lanterns. And then tinted glass right here. And then bed. Oh, I could do like a shelf thing, I guess. Or does that just look dumb? Maybe I could do it like that. I don't know. I'm just gonna put the uh, flower, I guess. And then anazite slabs right there, or diorite. I'm also gonna take an anvil, place one on either side, just cause I can. Then for the second level, I'm gonna take the white wool like another like floor like that and break this block right here also gonna put like I guess some chests down here and a uh, crafting bench I guess I could separate this with the pillar. Like that. And then here, I have the ladder. Going up. Like that. And on this level, it'll mainly be like furnaces and I guess chests. But in the corner, I'm gonna place six furnaces. Like that. I'm gonna take the pillar and go up with a pillar like that. Right here, I'm gonna place anvil. Uh, Chest right here. How do I do that? Wait, I'm looking at the picture. Hmm. I don't know. Do a pillar right here. And then like a single chest. Like that. And then I would put one right here, but it's not gonna be able to open it. So I'll take the I'll take the sea lanterns. I guess I can put one underneath the chest. Put one underneath all these. Dang. Uh. Right here, I'll kind of do some kind of like shelf thing. You don't really have to do this. Could do. Could do.
do. I don't know. Anything else? Like a crafting bench or something. Uh, and then I'm actually going to take slabs and do the next level with it. So like that. Then I'm gonna take two torches just to, you know, keep lighting the place up. I'm gonna make the ladder keep going up. Oh, I know how I did it. I think I did the ladder on the other side. It doesn't really matter where you put the ladder. Um Yeah, I was confused. Because uh, in the picture I was looking at, I had this all fit in here. But I guess I had the ladder on the left side. Instead of the right. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. Also for decoration, I'm going to put another rose. Up here. Where's the mouth? Right there? Okay. So that means I can do one row of, or I guess I can do a floor of black concrete right here. Like that. Right here, I think for light, I actually place sea lanterns right here. And then use this more of just like decoration or whatever. Like that. And then here you can really place whatever you can do. What is this? Ooh. Um. Could do like a smithing table or a flat. I don't know if anybody actually uses these, but could do like a smoker or something. Yeah, I'm gonna use bookshelves. I'm sure Venom doesn't read, but if he did, it'd be very cool. Bookshelf area? I don't know. I actually put, you know, something useful or whatever. I'm just putting random stuff. I'm actually gonna continue this up. And then I guess Yeah. Do a floor. I'll put some light in here. Hey, come on. Oh, I don't have any room. This is just temporary light, so you can see what I'm building. Um, right here, I'm just making this come up like that. go and then for I guess ooh for actual light I'll just put these on the corners 
And then this could be a chest room. So I guess I could do like that. Maybe have chests going all along here. This just looks wonky. I could do like that. I could do an anvil. I could do a crafting bench. I really love I really love anvils and crafting benches. I don't know if you could tell. But I could also do furnaces, maybe. I didn't make a uh, room for the enchantment table, but you could easily, you know, use any room that I've used for that. Or you can make an underground enchantment table. This could be expandable. And up here is going to be the, the main bedroom. So I'm going to take these uh, sea lanterns, put them up in the corners. I'm gonna take the andesites or the diorite slabs and then the quartz slabs and I'm gonna make a ceiling. What the heck? There we go. Make a ceiling out of it, so I'm gonna go along all the corners or all the edges I guess. And then put one in every corner. Take the diorite, do something like that, and then I guess I could leave the middle. I'm going to take the beds, two right there, I'm going to do upside down stairs, kind of like a shelf, like a bedside table, I'm going to take the head, put it right there, because venom kills people or something, get that, ugh, um, take the flower pot, put one over here, put the rose in it, could also do what I did at the bottom, take cauldrons, make uh, make some plants, something like that. Just gonna take the glowing item frame, put a netherite sword right there. I'm assuming if you know Venom played Minecraft and could use a sword, he used a netherite one. Not only does it have the most attack damage, it's black, and that's his whole thing, I guess. Venom symbiote's black. Anyways. Yeah. Just because I can. Put another plant right here. That looks nice. Could even do... Could even do a couch. I think I'm going to do that. I already have white wool. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take the white wool. I guess come around like that. Nah. Nah, I just leave it. That is basically it. Of course, you can add whatever you want. I'm probably gonna add some torches and such. Just keep it, you know, light. But if you don't have sea lanterns, you can, of course, just use glowstone or torches. That is essentially it, though. You can also expand downwards, you know, make a little enchantment room, whatever you want. Like a strip mine. I don't know if people still strip mine. It's probably way easier to get stuff now. For the hands. I don't know if this would look better. Yeah, I kind of like that. I was going to do some kind of tendrils. But I didn't know if it would look that good. So I just didn't do it. But anyways, that is the Venom house. I might have some more house stuff like this. Kind of like the Captain America battling statues. Or like the Hulk house. Kind of stuff like that. Or like the Miles Morales. Anyways, do more character houses. I do have a Carnage one coming up. It's just his head. I think it's pretty cool. If you enjoyed the video, please leave your suggestions in the comments. I'll look at all of them. I do have a long list of suggested stuff. I'll get to it eventually. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.